For those of you who don't know me, I'm biking around Europe for one year. This is where I've been so far and on my way I sometimes stay in unusual Airbnbs like the one I want to show you today. It made one of my childhood dreams come true and this is what the property looked like. What I love about this place is that even in the bathroom there's so much love for detail with a sunflower and everything was really nicely done. I felt very comfortable in there. What was most surprising to me when I arrived were all these really cute tiny houses. I got to look into some of them and they were so nicely done and I would have loved to stay there too but let's get to the main reason why I was there, my place where I was sleeping and it's this trampoline tent. My parents used to have a big trampoline like this one and I always, always, always wanted to spend a night there. So when I saw this on Airbnb, I was like, okay, I have to do it. It's not quite camping weather yet, so it might get a little cold, but I am so excited and I will show it to you now. I'm on the inside of the tent right now and it is so big in here. I was just jumping and I could comfortably jump. Like if I reach up, I'm not reaching the top of the tent. There's so much space. It's really comfortable and I'm so excited to set everything up. <laughs> so let me show you my setup. I used some blankets that I got from the host and then I have my ISO mat, I think. And then I have my sleeping bag and I also always have a little travel blanket with me. And that was my setup for the night. I also got to meet the really nice family who owns this place and they were kind enough to show me around the farm where they live and it's right next to the tiny houses. It has been in their family for many generations. One of the tiny houses is actually a common space for everyone and since it was the beginning of the season and I was the first guest, I could leave my luggage there. I had the free choice which patio I wanted to use to have my dinner. I chose this one because I can look at the cows. So after I have eaten something, I'm gonna go into the sauna. So this looks like another tiny house, but it actually is a sauna that I was lucky enough that I got to use. Normally I'm not the first one to jump to the chance of doing a sauna, but this was a pretty fun activity. I was warmed up before I got back into my tent and the lights were so pretty at night. I feel so cozy and warm after the sauna and a nice shower so now i'm all cuddled up in all of my blankets and my sleeping bag and i actually have wi-fi here so now i can watch a movie <laughs> I slept really well last night. As you can tell from the line of my face, I was wearing a hat and my scarf just to make sure that I would be warm, but I was really warm. I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10. Such a fun experience. You can do the sauna when you're here. You can do a bonfire, which I could have done, but I got so sleepy after the sauna. <laughs> so yeah, this was super fun. I mean, what a great experience. <laughs> I finished my stay with a really nice homemade breakfast with cake and homemade jellies and then I was back on the road. While I was in the area, I visited the sponsor of my bike, Kaikov, and I was so excited to see the place and to get to meet all the people who I had been in contact with. And it was so great to just learn more about the company, the different bikes, and how much work really goes into each and every one of the bikes. I also got to test some other bikes, which was so fun, but I have to say I'm so happy with my Endeavor 7B Plus. And after seeing how much work went into creating it, I appreciated so much more. Now I would love to hear from you whether you would stay in a trampoline tent like this. I will link to the Airbnb below this video and as always I would be so grateful if you could comment something, like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video which comes out every Thursday. I will see you next week.